Welcome to Equal Time with Martha Burke. Labor Day is behind us and the presidential campaign is now in full swing to the finish line. The much-anticipated debate this week between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump could make or break either candidate. So let's review the bidding and see where they stand on key issues. Here's an excerpt from Kamala Harris's Labor Day speech to union workers. Oh, it's good to be in the House of Labor. So it is so good to be with so many incredible leaders. We know that when we organize, when we bring everyone together, it's a joyful moment, lifting up America's families. And here's an excerpt from Trump's Labor Day speech. Um, oh, I forgot. He didn't make one. But never mind, there are plenty of other issues to compare the candidates. Sadly, one was a mass shooting last week outside of Atlanta, where two students and two teachers were killed and nine others wounded. Vice President Harris spoke out immediately. We have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. Trump couldn't be bothered with a live comment. Instead, he posted on his true social account. Our hearts are with the victims and loved ones of those affected by this tragic event. These cherished children were taken from us far too soon by a sick and deranged monster. He ought to know. Another issue that's front and center this year is reproductive freedom. Here are the candidates in their own words. People have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of Roe v. Wade. In America, freedom is ours by right, and that includes the freedom to make decisions about one's own body. The logistics of the debate are settled, no live mics while the other is speaking, but nonverbal behavior can often speak for itself. Watch closely. Which candidate would you like to be stuck in an elevator with? Thanks for listening to Equal Time. I'm Martha Burke.